Now you can see whether you are ensuring both this care and guidance in your family or you are largely focusing on care only. You are trying to ensure nurturing and protection of the body or you are trying to ensure right understanding and right feeling in the self also. And if you are largely focusing on care and not taking care of the self, then the self, you know, feels violated. So you seem to be doing so much for the child and the child feels violated because you are not taking care of the self. Okay. That is why you think that you have invested your life for the child. Right. And the child feels that you have spoiled his life. <laughs> what is happening? But then you can see, if you yourself, yourself don't have the right understanding and right feeling, how can you pass it on to the next? We can see whether both are necessary or not. This care and the guidance both are necessary or you can only do with care. <coughs> you are taking care of both or you are largely taking care of the care part. So you are not doing anything. You are sending the children to the school. Right? The school is also not doing this. The school is also preparing the child to earn his bread, which has to do with this. What do you think? Is the school ensuring right understanding and right feeling? And all your programs in TV and you know newspaper, are they ensuring right understanding, right feeling? So all those three components who are supposed to ensure education and sanskar, right? The parents, the teachers, and the society, right? <coughs> is not ensuring right understanding and right feeling. So they are not providing the guidance to the children, right? to the young generation. Right? And if the young generation is getting spoiled, who is responsible? We are all responsible. The care has to be provided and the guidance has to be provided. We are very positive about this care part. So we are not doing it properly, but we are very positive about it. We want to take care of this generation, the next generation, then 10 generation, right? So you are accumulating money for taking care of this children, you know, for 10 generations to come. But when it comes to this, are we doing anything? As parents, as teachers, as responsible member of the society, <coughs> You can see that the education and sanskar has mainly to do with this, <coughs> the guidance part, and it is not doing this part. So we are not doing it in the family as parents. We are not doing it in education, which is the main part, right? In the education, and we are not doing it in the society. So there is a whole lot of means of communication available today, right? So many TV programs, 24 hours, right? Hundreds of channels running, right? In terms of facility, we have a lot of them, right? Are we using it for this? Ensuring right understanding and right feeling. And that is why, why the communication is required, isn't it? What is the purpose of communication? To ensure this, or mislead people, misguide people. The 
role of communication is to share this right understanding and right feeling, provide the guidance or misguide people. And what we are doing today. Second day we saw that movie, you know, that documentary, a story of a stuff. It says that every day some 3,000 or 5,000 advertisements, 3,000 advertisements are bombarded on you. That is 2-3 years old. <laughs> yes. So this is 2-3 years old information. It might have increased by now. Now, now I have advertisements inside the program also. In fact, they will make the program in a manner that you, they will take you to a peak and when the peak is there, they will immediately close it and show you the advertisement. <laughs> Programs are in between ads only. Yeah. So in fact, if you look at the program, it's like showing at this man with a break, you know, where the news is also given. Actually, sir, actually, the television below also, there are advertisements. The movie is going on, below also there are advertisements. So, is it guidance or misguidance? Yeah, when no, I, I just wanted to say actually this is where this is you are still talking of a stage where there is a distinction between the advertisement. Uh, uh, this is we are talking of situations where there is still a distinction between uh, the advertisement and the news. But actually that distinction now doesn't exist. There is such a thing as paid news and uh, so there is really it's a very blurry distinction between what is uh, even news and what is uh, advertising. Yeah. In fact, Vinish was mentioning that if you look at this TV program, right, they cost you crores and crores of rupees, right, and they are made available to you free. Where is that money coming from? Advertisement. Advertisement. And what is this advertisement? Guidance or misguidance? So all these programs are given to you free because yes, because they are sure that by misguiding you, they will be able to sell their things okay, of the amount more than what they are paying. Right? If they are paying one crore rupee, okay, they will be able to sell more than one crore you know, worth of profit things. So all your advertisement has to do with guidance or misguidance that you can evaluate. So I leave this you know, for you to uh, start reflecting whether in relationship in your family particularly to begin with, then the larger family and finally the society and the country. <coughs> With this feeling of affection, are we taking care of both the body and the self? Or we are largely focusing on the body alone? Okay? Undermining this guidance. Right? Undermining to the extent that instead of ensuring guidance, lot of misguidance is taking place and we are not even aware of it. So look at that. We'll take it up tomorrow morning in more detail. Okay. If there is any question, immediately we'll take it up. Year before, last year, Tarayana organized a mountain people for the writers. And then I was invited to. Together, okay. Year before last year, but it was held in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, most of the writers assembled here, and then I was invited uh, here because I would want to. Then uh, we were asked to give our uh, opinion.
opinions and comments. And then the most of the writers that from the Indian, some young writers. You have seen it, who cares? What society thinks, who cares? I write what I like, right? I'm not supposed to write things because I'm only one. I was shocked. Because we were talking about all the writers, whatever we write, we should be responsible for the leading of the youngsters for the society, for the peace and harmony. Very different. That was shocking. Hopefully next time uh, these people may not come. They said on the mic very uh, uh, confidently saying that who cares? Why should I care? That was a cultural shock. I know. And then after, after that, then this year, I was invited to give a couple of times. That's that's the kind of reconditioning which is created in the name of development. That I don't care for this. Yes. <laughs> and this is a misguidance. If there is any other question, we'll take it up. Otherwise, we'll close here. Tomorrow, we'll you know, expand this subject. I just you know, put down for you to reflect upon. Uh, excuse me, I 